Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be comparing iOS 14 widgets with Android widgets. So, so right over here, I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, okay? And right over here, we have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. This one is running iOS 14, and this one here is running Android 10. So let's dive in and get started. Okay, so as you know, widgets are brand new for iOS 14 on the iPhones. Uh, let's take a look at what we have. Just a couple examples here. Here we have a weather widget. Over here we have one for calendar, one for news, one for stocks. And if I swipe over, uh, we have another one right over here. Now on the on the uh, Android, we have a bunch of uh, widgets. We have a weather widget right here. We have a clock. We have a couple buttons that allow me to change the brightness at a tap. So let's see how these uh, widgets work and how they compare. We are gonna be talking about things like functionality, customizability, interactability with the actual widgets and what the widgets are capable of doing. So let's say I wanted to add a widget onto the screen on the actual iPhone with iOS 14. What I can do now is I can press anywhere on the screen. In the past, you would have to press and hold on an actual application and then everything starts to wiggle and that's when you know you can edit something on the screen. Now what you can do is you can press and hold anywhere on the screen and that's gonna make sure uh, the wiggling process starts so you can start to add things and rearrange your desktop. So let's uh, tap on plus here. This is where all the, uh, the widgets for iOS 14 actually reside. So if I tap on plus, all right, uh, what I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get a window that's gonna have all the available widgets. Now, as of now, because this is brand new, this whole widgets business on iPhone, you're only gonna get a bunch of them, and they're mostly based on system apps, but I will let you know, as developers update their applications, you're gonna get more and more widgets right over here. It's gonna be a huge list, and you are able to search for them if you so desire. So this is the screen from where you, you're gonna be adding widgets, at least uh, for now. Okay, let me cancel this. Now with this one, with Android, most of the time, again, what you do is you press and hold on the screen anywhere. Uh, that, that brings up the menu to customize your home screens. And then you go to widgets over here and then you have a bunch of widgets right here. We also have the search functionality right here. Uh, with at least with one UI and you can even search by voice as you can see Okay, and then as you can see because this is Android and it's been in the game for a long time We have uh, many many widgets available uh, a bunch of them come with the phone when you purchase it just like this one They're called stock widgets, but then what you can do is you can go to the Play Store Okay, you can go to the Play Store and you can download thousands of widgets right from here you can type in things like widgets and they're just gonna pop up. It's an endless list uh, of widgets that you can add onto your home screen, okay? Now let's talk about actually adding these. So let me swipe down. Okay, here's the highlights. There's a bunch of highlighted widgets on the top that they think you might wanna use right away. But if you scroll down, let's say you wanna use a battery widget. You tap on it, okay? And what you get is you get a bunch of different sizes. So you have a square widget that's gonna take the uh, space of four applications on the screen. So let me just show it to you. If I go over here, that's what's gonna be, that's the smallest widget that you have. And again, when you look at the comparison over here, uh, we can have smaller widgets right over here, and all these are individually resizable if there's space on the screen. Now, when you dump a widget onto the actual screen with the iPhone, when you tap on that widget, all it does is launch the application that it's talking about and go inside. So when I tap on this over here, again, it just launches the application and goes inside. When I tap on this one here, it is going to expand the calendar application, but at least it expands exactly where you are tapping. So if I tap on this one, it'll bring up July, okay? Now with the, with the Android, it's a little bit different. You can interact with the actual widgets right on the home screen. So here I have a button that increases the brightness of my screen. So if I tap this, the brightness goes to 100%. If I tap it again, it goes back to 50, where I have it right now. 
If I tap this, it goes to 25%. That's for nighttime. If I tap this, it goes back to 50% by turning that option off. You don't have that option here. So you don't have anything here that I can tap on that's going to change an actual setting in the phone. That's one difference. These are not interactable. You tap them, it launches the application, and that's it. Now, one more quick thing. If I press and hold again, if I tap on plus, I was showing you the sizes that's, that are available. So if I were to go into any one of these guys, you have uh, three different sizes to get you started. You get that square. You got a rectangle here that fills two rows. And then you have a large one that fills almost half the screen. And that's available for most of these guys. So if I go to news, you have it just like that. Uh, you have different options sometimes. So for this one, you get top stories with this one. You get a little bit more. You get politics. You get a certain category, okay? Let's X this out. By the way, if you look at it, they're all live. So the data that is showing right now inside the preview is actually up-to-date data, okay? Same thing with the notes application. If I tap over here, look at that, okay? So that's great. We have all these various sizes. And here's, here's a sample, obviously, of different sizes. The, the, the one that the rectangle, the square, and the large square. These are not resizable. But the, uh, the widgets that we have here are resizable. So here's a calendar widget that I have, okay? I can resize this if I want. Uh, there are some limitations to how much I can do it, but you can resize the widgets on Android side. Some of them have no limits. You can resize them as much as you like. So this is a calendar widget right here, and this is one right here. And I can select a certain date here. If I double tap, it's going to launch that day, and it's going to show me the, uh, the actual... Uh, entry, but here's where things start to differ. So right now we have limitations on customization. Uh, with Android, you can have widgets of this caliber. So I have a photo, I got the day, I got the battery level, I got the date and the time, and it's right there. This is something that somebody would desire for extreme customization. We don't have that here yet, but we might get it soon. But right now, Android, when it comes to widget games, obviously, not surprisingly, is ahead because it's been in the game for a long time. I'm really excited to see what the iPhone will do with their widgets uh, going forward. I'm sure they'll add interactable area spaces within an actual widget, like we have over here. So if I swipe over here, I have a calculator. So I don't have to launch a calculator. I can just come here, 56 plus... 25 for small calculations. I can just use it right here. So that's very convenient to have uh, without having to launch a, a, a calculator. You turn on the phone, you swipe over, boom, 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 you're done. So that's another big difference. Interactable widgets exist on Android and there are millions of these available. And on, on, on this side, we have only a limited amount with limited customizability as opposed to this and also limited functionality. Now there is something quite interesting in the iPhone I'm gonna show you guys as far as the widgets are concerned. Uh, that's something I would like to see over here as well. So when I press and hold, uh, when I go into my widgets, let's go for the uh, smart stack. So there's something known as a smart stack. So I can tap on this one right here and I can grab one of these different sizes. Let's just grab this one. I'm gonna tap on add. And the smart stack basically has widgets within widgets so like a folder of widgets i can swipe through them okay uh to see different widgets and i'm pretty sure i can grab one of these guys uh let's edit actually not like that let's just edit the home screen okay uh, edit home screen i can grab one of these guys and put it inside my smart stack okay so i can create my own stack of widgets that i can scroll through uh, for a quick glance. That's very smart. That's why it's known as a smart stack, I suppose. Uh, but we also have something right over here that's kind of similar, but this is more like a you scroll up and down. With this one, you can stay in position and just flip through the uh, widgets one by one. So that's a nice little thing. You know, I would like to see something like that here. There might be something like that here already in the Play Store. I just haven't seen it but I like the fact that it's built into the system and it's also uh, smart, meaning uh, it knows uh, by the time of the day, by your usage, what widget you wanna see on the top, okay? So the first thing you see is something you use most often and then other things come that you check less often and so on and so forth. As you keep going down less often, as you come to the top, 
uh, things you used all the time. As you can see over here, we also have some cool widgets that can actually, uh, the, what I like about it is it doesn't have to be a square, it can be a circle and you can see the background. But on top of that, I wanna show you one more thing. So let's uh, go over here, remove this widget, okay? I'm gonna re-add that widget. I'm gonna show you guys all the various options on how you add one. Now with this one, let's do it also, let's do it together. So let's do plus, let's pick up calendar again, just as an example. Let me grab this guy here. Okay, I'm gonna tap on add widget. It's gonna get dumped onto the screen. Then you can move it around if you want, okay? And uh, over here, I'm gonna pinch the screen. I'm gonna go to widgets. I'm gonna go into my calendars right here. There we have it. Now we have a different options as you can see. Now when I tap on this, on the top it says three. That means I have three options. So I'm gonna tap it, I'll, I've got three different sizes. I can do single, larger, or largest. So let's get the largest, dump it on the screen, fills the entire screen. But before it gets activated, it gives you the option to go for white or black and you can change the transparency as you desire. So I can have it fully transparent or fully a solid white color or a black color, okay? But I can also have anything in between and I can also make sure everything matches with the actual dark mode. So if I enable this or disable it, when I turn on the dark mode, let's go with white, I'll show you what I mean, 100%. So let's go out here. So what happens when I turn on the dark mode? Let's go over here, dark mode turned on, okay? Now when I go out, that's also darkened, okay? So the same thing actually exists with the iPhone here as well. So if I were to pull this down, and if I were to enable the dark mode, it should be here. Let's tap on hold on brightness, okay, dark mode. Let's see what happens with the widgets. They go dark as well. The background darkens a little bit as well. You have that option here too, all right? So let's uh, go back. But again, as you dump the widget onto the screen, you're getting more options here to customize them. Additionally, if I were to press and hold, and if I say widgets, and if I were to grab one of the widgets I uh, downloaded from the Play Store, uh, look at the amount of customization. Just one widget can make you millions of other widgets. So if I were to grab this guy right here, let's do three by two, dump it right here. Now I can tap on it. Let's resize this first and then tap on it, just like that. It takes me into the application, the widget application, from where I can uh, install all these, any one of these widgets in all these different ways. So that's not available right here. That's obvious, again, uh, late to the game, but it's probably gonna be developed further as more developers add more and more widgets. So that's basically all there is to it with the, with the widgets. You can see what the differences are. Uh, so if I were to tap over here, I can choose this over here and just fit it there and all that stuff. Okay, so let me remove this. But that's it with the widgets. And really quick, I wanna mention the app library. So if I swipe to the left at the end of the screen, you'll see that we have an app library, which is equivalent to what we, we know on the Android side as an app drawer. But as you can see, these are automatically categorized into their own folders for easy access, we have folders within folders. I can tap this. It's gonna, it's gonna, you know, expand and give me more applications. And you can search it. You can also search from here. Okay, I like that list, by the way. Quick list right over here. You can also search from here. We have the same thing right over here. Uh, but this is our app drawer. And of course, I can make folders within folders inside my app drawer uh, for the purpose of organization. Okay, so just so you know, that's all possible. You can change the colors and whatnot, okay? And things like that. But that's the app drawer, and that's the app library. I like that they put it to the side over here. That's nice. It's also nice to have it at the bottom, okay? With this one, when you uh, when you swipe up, you know, nothing happens on the screen. But with this one, when you swipe up, you go to your app drawer. But that's not a big deal. This is more widget-based. Uh, but you can see the differences between the widgets are uh, limited, Less functionality, less interactability, maximum functionality, maximum interactability. But what we are saying is the same is most likely going to come to iPhone slowly, but still in a controlled way, but in a nice and clean way, as you can see right here. This is nice and clean. It's hard to mess up your screen. One thing I don't like is when you grab one of these guys and you swipe it over, you have no control over what happens. So if I grab this and dump it here, all the apps, the four applications went to the other screen, okay? 
with this one there's more much more uh, going on and you have things like this you tap on this one optimizes your phone fantastic all right so if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know let me know which one you prefer do you prefer ios or android what do you think about the widgets just drop some opinions some comments some concerns and for now guys have a fantastic day all right all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time i upload a new video and if you do use twitter instagram or facebook you can follow me at Saki tech online to get the latest updates as well all right have a fantastic day